Hello YouTube and welcome. I'm pretty sure there's no Parkside lover unaware about this dreadful Parkside performance impact driver and its defects. No need to demonstrate you how the machine is burning down its transistors. Today I will be talking about its successor, the B3 version. It's not yet released to the market, so don't ask me for its price. But I'm pretty sure that in a couple of weeks we'll start seeing it in stores around Europe. Externally, the two versions are absolutely the same, except for the torque selector button on the new model where we can see the ready to connect sign and yes the new model features the ready to connect functionality allowing communication between the machine the smart battery and the leader application on your smartphone i'm pretty sure lots of you remember this really annoying feature on the old version the so-called sleep mode fortunately parkside removed it from the new model this is the old version which currently is in sleep mode. The trigger is unresponsive to really short presses. The torque selector is not working. You have to press and hold the trigger so the machine can exit the sleep mode. On the new version, we don't have such feature. These are the two models internally, they are completely identical except for the control board. The control board on the old version was entirely covered in resin. Disregard this part over here, I had to remove the resin so I can do some soldering on the control board. And this is the control board on the new model. As you can see, there's no resin, but only, let's call it, resin paint covering some of the elements the old version and the new let me remove this cardboard over here which was placed by me Totally different control board design. So guys, after I don't know how many screws, this is the temperature condition of the machine.
and this is after removing the same amount of screws I know it's statistically wrong to make general conclusions based on only one piece of machinery but I think that Parkside has learned its lesson and this version will be far less defective than its predecessor. Finally, this is what we have inside the little application. All zeros, no over temperature, no over current, everything is perfect. I think that's enough for this video and for this machine. If you'd like it, you know what to do. Bye for now guys.